Hello there. Today I'm in the Georgia Tech GVU prototyping lab with the Harbor Freight uh, Bauer 20 volt cordless random orbital sander. And I hadn't seen many review videos of these on YouTube or really anywhere with them in action. So I've just used our four by eight CNC router machine to cut some parts out of plywood. And I've got some areas where there was some chip out and things like that in the job. So I'm gonna use this to do a little bit of full sheet post-processing on these parts. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll put it in. We'll put the video in fast forward and then uh, so you can actually see me using it for a couple of minutes and then I'll give you my thoughts on uh, how I think this is as a sander. Cheers. So here I'm just showing the plywood before sanding. As you can see, there's chip out and some stringy bits near the top of the sheet that I'm hoping to get rid of with the sander. And I apologize here, I intended to have this in a times 16 or times 32 fast forward. Uh, so this didn't take so long, but unfortunately on iMovie on iPhone, there's only times two fast forward speed. So if you don't want to watch all the way through this, please feel free just to skip forward about a minute or two. And here's what we're left with after a brief sanding. As you can see, the stringy bits at the top are uh, pretty much all but gone. So I call this pretty good success. Okay, so I'm back again with the uh, cordless orbital sander. Um, so a couple of things to note. Uh, a, it survived an initial test. So. That's good. Um, currently, the price point that this sander is at uh, when I bought it here in uh, September, or no, this is October 2020 now, um, this was priced at about $30 for the actual sander unit. And then uh, I don't think I mentioned before, I'm using the 1.5 amp hour battery here, which I think is the smallest battery in the Bauer line. It goes for about uh, $25 or something like that. It's under $30. Um, and also I'm using a 100 grit sanding pad. Uh, I probably could have gone a little bit rougher and got a, a, a bit better of a result, but this plywood that I'm using has a very thin veneer and I didn't want to sand all the way through that. So um, in the amount of time that I used this, uh, it was probably about three or four minutes uh, in real time here, we made it through. That's, a, that's definitely a plus. It doesn't feel like the tool or the battery really had any issues with heating. Uh, so that's great. It did seem like the dust evacuation worked quite well. I didn't put the uh, actual collect collector on here because I didn't want to get it dirty and I've got to vacuum all this up anyway, so that wasn't really an issue, but this does seem to function well, especially I would imagine if you had a shop vac uh, connected here, that would be pretty great. 
Um, the pad still has plenty of grit left in it, so it seems like you can get a, quite a good amount of lifetime out of these Harbor Freight pads. Um, overall, I would say for the price, I'm pretty tickled with this. Uh, as with most things from Harbor Freight, we'll see how uh, longevity plays out, but I'll try to keep this video updated with uh, uh, updates to let you know if it dies at any point. But uh, right now, it seems to be like uh, this is a, a pretty good value for your dollar if you just need a cordless, cheap, uh, random orbital sander. So I, I hope this video was uh, helpful to you. This was not endorsed or sponsored by Harbor Freight in any way. This is just, uh, I thought this might be useful information for other folks out there on the internet. So uh, cheers.